we are going to take a look at using the dodge and the burn tool in photoshop first things first make sure that you are looking at the same thing i am under window and workspace using the essentials if you need to go ahead and click reset essentials should reset things to look like this so i have my image here and my layers i'm going to duplicate this layer and work on one above it because I don't want to mess with my original. I want to always be able to go back to that. So I'm going to right click on my layer, head up to duplicate layer and just say, okay. And now I have two copies of that layer and I'll work on the one above it. Over in my tools, I have the dodge, and if I click and hold down, I also have the burn tool. So look, look at the dodge first. And dodge is going to brighten parts of my image. Up here, I can adjust whether I'm brightening the shadows, the midtones, or the highlights. We're going to brighten the highlights to start. I can also affect how strong it's going to brighten things. Right now, it's set at 50. You can play around with that setting if you need to. If I just click and I start to draw with my brush, I can make that pretty bright right away. So that might be a little bit extreme. I could go back and lower my opacity um, in my exposure and try it again. I can always undo that. I could also just affect the midtones on there and maybe Let's lower the exposure and head back to the highlights and brightening things up that way. You could also change your brush size, which is up here. You can also use your brackets to change the brush size and you could brighten other parts of your image as well. You can stack that multiple times. So if I wanted like still brighter, still brighter, I can stack that up multiple times and it will increase the brightness each time I do it. Um, it's easy to take it way too far. I think subtlety is probably the way to go with this tool, but um, give it a try. Let's look at burn. Burn is gonna make things darker. We can also adjust what, if it's doing shadows or midtones or highlights, and we can ex adjust the exposure too. So let's go ahead and make the shadows a little darker in the background. And you can kind of, remember you can stack multiple times each time you click it and go over the top of it. You can change those things. Um, and using a low hardness on your brush is also a good idea to help it really blend in more. So, all right, another example of taking it too far and too extreme, but my original image, adding the dodge and the burn. Not that, that I would probably go with this, but that shows you how this these two tools work using the dodge and the burn. There is another technique we can show you here of doing this. So I'm gonna turn this one off. I'm gonna go back to my original and this time i'm going to create a curves adjustment layer so adjustment layer curves i'm going to bring this out so we can we can get a better look at it you're going to use this and you're going to click kind of in the middle of your line and pull it up to brighten it and when you're using this technique so we brighten that. It also, let's pull out our layers here. We can look at our layers and see that it made an adjustment layer on top of that. So it's not directly affecting my original image. It is a, a layer on top of it. We do want to adjust this a little bit. We're going to head in and I'm going to invert this. So I'm gonna click on it, and then in properties, I'm going to invert. 
and I want it to be black on here. And then I can use my brush tool to draw over my image and bring the brightness to it. Probably want to be a little bit more exact than I was, but that's the essence of it there. And we're going to also make a burn option on that too. So we're going to go down and we're going to add, oh, that's not what I meant to hit. We're going to add another curves adjustment layer. And this time we're going to make it darker. So I'm going to grab my line again and bring it down and say, okay there. And we're going to, again, invert this. So I'm going to click on it and invert. And now I need to draw with white in front down here and the brush tool. So I'm going to go around the background, making it darker around the image. And I could lower my brush size and get in there and get some of the details and stuff too. Um, okay, for this one, we are going to go in and we're going to do two different things to help it blend in a little bit better. So we're going to go to image and we're going to head down to apply image. And on here, we're going to go through. For this one, we are going to click invert and we're going to say OK. We go to our first one. We're going to do the same thing. Image. Apply image. And this time we don't want it to be inverted. We'll say OK. So that's another different way of doing things. We can look at our changes that we've made and a different way of dodging and burning. So there we go.